tonight. Um, thank you. The way I look at the neurological exam. working on YouTube stuff all morning. Didn't really get around to school stuff, but I'll do that this afternoon. But yeah, lab meeting in 10 minutes. Tea time. So it's 1.56 p.m. on Friday. You guys saw me eat breakfast. I was just like getting ready, but because I woke up so late today, I had slept in. I think this week I was like catching up on the sleep I lost last week. Oh my god. I have class from 2 to 4.30, but this is my med school class. Did I tell you about this? I'm taking a class at the Harvard Medical School this semester. It only just started like last month because it's part of their second like spring session two. I registered because it's open to undergraduates and it's called training the eye. It's basically combining art techniques and analytical techniques with clinical practices as physicians. And so I thought it'd be a really cool class to take and I really like it, it's past film. And today we're going to the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston, but it's for the second half of the class. So it's really weird because I have to time it and all the students have to time it where we have to like basically zoom into the first part of lecture while we're on our way to the museum which starts at like 3 to 3.15. So class starts in like literally a few minutes and I have to figure out the timing. So this is my lunch. I just took out my laundry, which I don't won't have time to fold because it just came out. So I'm literally going to like check the tea schedule and then zoom in on my phone and I think I'm gonna leave. Let me just check now. Oh my God. This is a mess, a hot mess. Is there no fine arts? Oh, it takes 20 minutes. Okay, if I take the... If I just take the 66, I can just walk. So I'll leave in like half an hour so I can get there because they said we have to be there by 3.15. I'll probably leave a little earlier, so I'll leave in like 20 minutes. So I'm gonna eat this. I'm all over the place, can you tell? Ha, ah, class starts in a minute. This is from Nina and Alexa, by the way. Thank you. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, it's fine. I don't even know what's happening right now. We have class. Hello? Let me move on. The way I look at the neurological exam is that uh, when you look at someone, uh, obviously, and I'll show you why that is, you get hooked on their face. The part of the face that you look at as soon as you come into contact with somebody else is primarily the eyes and then the rest of the face. And that, as far as the neurological exam is concerned, is the examination of the cranial nerves. Uh, he's muted. This is a neurologist who's one of the professors for the class. He's a neurologist at Boston Children's Hospital and he was like, I'm on call right now, so if I have to leave suddenly, forgive me. He was like taking a phone call in the middle of teaching. <laughs> Let's go.
facing which is why i just have this cat thing on but i just wanted to chat a little bit this is my first vlog in literally like a month or two hi how are you it's currently may 2nd 1 14 a.m but i just wanted to take this time to kind of chat a little bit about what was happening with me should i turn a light on is that okay so long story short i was so burnt out and just not in the mood to do any work i've been really just floating through my classes these past few weeks and not really absorbing anything which is not amazing i feel honestly kind of awful about it but i just couldn't help it i feel like i lost all motivation to do anything i think everything really spiraled from march on and then april was just like a constant struggle of like one step forward two steps back another thing i had been seeing a therapist with the mental health services at harvard and she was great but honestly after the whole thing with harvard sending out that like you may wish you weren't asian message honestly if i want to pursue therapy an external therapist would probably be best instead of from the institution that is semi-contributing to the reason why i feel like i need to go to therapy i stopped doing that that was just like a few weeks i guess like two months i was like really trying it but i digress the whole point of why i turned on the camera to talk about this was i think it was like the lowest i've been in a while i felt very aimless which might not have looked like that to you guys but of course don't believe everything you see on the internet. I went out with my little friend group, my social pod here in Boston because two of the girls are heading back home. Their lease is up for their Boston apartment. I think this is the fourth time from all of like the pandemic that I've eaten out at a restaurant and all four of those times were after I got vaccinated. So we went out to Seaport then seaport to eat at a really nice little italian restaurant i was seeing so many people just walking out and about without any masks just living their lives having fun clearly i think that was in and of itself kind of a wake-up call in the sense that all play and no work versus all work and no play like I think there's definitely a balance and I just haven't focused on either. I wasn't really working towards any goals or working to do particularly well in my classes. And I also feel like even if I did go out and maybe like hang out with friends, went on walks or shop, I feel like I also wasn't necessarily like enjoying myself in that present moment because I haven't really felt that drive to work i feel like i haven't really been working towards anything i also feel like that's quite common during the pandemic but at the same time tonight being in a situation where i'm at this great restaurant eating amazing food with my friends i think all of it was just like there is a life outside zoom things i can do and look forward to you have things that you want to work towards and you have goals that you want to work towards goals you've set for yourself you have aspirations for yourself you have expectations for yourself so take the time to feel the things you want to feel but also know that there's only so much time that you have to do the things that you want to do and i think that was the main thing that i kind of like realized tonight i'm definitely want to be a lot more intentional with the way i use my time i'm turning 20 this year i'm halfway through college now i'm really at a point where i have to evaluate the things i want to accomplish for myself look at where do i want my life to go that's not the worst motivator in the world to get up every day and do something that your future self will thank you for <laughs> so sorry to have turned into a weird motivational speaker i was just having those kinds of thoughts i think this week will be a good week because i'm gonna make it a good week <laughs> thanks for bearing with me while i was dealing with some stuff a lot of it was just up here she she likes to mess with me sometimes so yeah i love you guys good night <laughs> So it's 10, oh now 10, 18 a.m. on May 2nd. Y'all last saw me when I had my little rant at like 1 a.m. It's been a pretty chill morning. I woke up around 8.30ish. Had breakfast, listened to music, read the New York Times weekend like morning thing. Checked my emails, checked my Discord. I just picked a moderator for the book club that i have in my discord server it's actually really fun i was able to join like one or two months it's not may so we're picking a new book click the link in my description if you want to join the discord it's a super chill community now i'm going to be getting a lot of work done today's a working day for sure because i have 
most of my finals concentrated at the end of this week so i'm going to be essentially just grinding every day on work i have my may bullet journal set up very very simple just some flowers and stuff i barely use it in april which is probably a reflection of how disorganized i was feeling so i'm hoping to get back on track with may my parents just got their second dose of the coronavirus vaccine which is very exciting they literally just got it like 15 minutes ago really exciting to hear because i was worried about them working seeing so many people while they're working so now i can definitely be a little bit more relaxed and now i'm going to fill out my bullet journal for what i have to do today and i will check in to give you a rundown of what my day is going to look like while listening to my sunny cafe sunny day playlist Whew. I have a lot to do today. I'm going to finish up some discussion posts that I have to do for my med school class. I'm going to outline my final project for Ancestry, maybe email my TF. Neuro and Chem, I have to set up my study schedules because those are both on Friday, yay! So I have to really push myself to study this week. And then English, set up the layout of my final project. I'm not too worried about English because I'll have the weekend and I should focus on my other three classes for which my finals are during Thursday and Friday. I have something do to my lab mentor by tomorrow and I have a club meeting at 3 to 4 and it's currently 11 so I'm gonna refill my coffee and then get to work Some readings for my essay, coffee, just had some apple slices, peanut butter, my, did I tell you guys about this? Keyboard and mouse. I don't remember what they are. The links would be in the description. They're from Amazon. This is a Bluetooth mouse. This is a Bluetooth keyboard. I love, love, love the keyboard. It's compatible with Apple Mac products. So because I have a, a MacBook, this is really useful. And the typing is so, so like satisfying, like, like i love it it's so good this mouse is okay it takes a little while to turn on after it turns off because it turns off to save battery once it falls asleep it takes like a few minutes to like wake up again but it's really nice because then when i have my laptop propped up on this book stand then it doesn't make me like strain my eyes or back or ruin my posture to reach for the mouse or keyboard i think i am literally crazy for not getting it sooner <laughs> yeah i will definitely recommend getting like a bluetooth keyboard and mouse if you can if you have your laptop set up like this i'm working on my project for one of my classes it's a beautiful day out slightly cloudy but supposedly really nice weather <laughs> i say supposedly because i haven't been outside i have a club meeting in like 20-ish minutes i'm just gonna keep working until then 